Here's a visualization of the intersecting chords theorem. Stick around and we'll see a formal statement of the theorem along with a visual proof. Start with a circle and draw two chords inside. Assume that these two chords intersect at a point that then cuts each chord into two pieces. Use the two pieces from each chord as the side lengths of a rectangle as pictured here. Now let's compute the area of these rectangles. It turns out that no matter how you draw the chords, as long as they intersect, the areas of these two rectangles will be exactly the same as pictured here. The intersecting chords theorem can be stated as follows. Suppose two chords in a circle intersect at a point dividing one chord into lengths of A and B and the other chord into lengths of C and D. Then the product A times B equals the product C times D. Let's check out a proof. First construct two triangles by connecting the chords like this. Now there are two angles, one in each triangle, subtended by this arc. There's this angle and this angle. Because these angles are subtended by the same arc, they must be congruent angles. Likewise, there's an angle in each triangle subtended by this arc. This one here, and this one in the other triangle. Once again, because these two angles are subtended by the same arc, they're congruent. But this means that the two pictured triangles that we created are similar. Now we can scale the two picture triangles. The top one we can scale by B, and the bottom one we can scale by C and connect them like this. This construction creates a parallelogram, and therefore the opposite side lengths, A times B and C times D, must be equal, just as we need for the intersecting chords theorem.